morning guys uh, welcome back to vlog 2 so i just got up a bit late considering yesterday was sunday so even after after the alarm i couldn't get up so finally i got up now i don't know what's the time right now so i'll just check the time and i will just quickly look into the markets all right so looking into the market the time has already reached 10:40 so we are already late so anyways we have some more time to look up to the market let's say by 12 o'clock after that it's like a dead end for me but anyways uh looking at the market today nifty looks at 0.65% but let me see what's the truth because any anywhere nifty can be positive negative it can be fluctuating also um okay so if you see i'll just go with the normal candle okay so nifty is a gap up so you see a gap up is happening now let me just check if it is trading in some other range um not yet so nifty is in same range of morning 30 minutes let's say it is in the same range of 30 minutes right so let me try to draw with these zero the tools let me utilize it mm, where is horizontal line over here okay rough drawing okay see none of the body has been crossed and closed right so the, the wicks can be created i mean see it can go like this and go down spike back okay uh, reverse back so what will happen the shadows will be there wicks will be there so that's not like a confirmation now currently i would say the market is going sideways okay the market is going sideways you see it's going within the 30 minutes range itself it is not even breaking i know that you are seeing this as positive and you are expecting a positive advantage on the stocks but i'm sure stocks also would have been opened a bit of gap up and then going a bit sideways yes certain stocks which has good number of buyers may be breaking its own high today but not every stock is getting an advantage nifty is looking volatile you see it has gone a bit up and it is coming down so let's look at a lower time frame so in 5 minutes time frame it is volatile you see this uh, let me get it down uh, let me close this let me close this let me close this yeah so if you see um it's gone up and it's coming back in the same range so it is understood now in intraday whenever the stock goes sideways you need to be very careful either you need to trade based on levels which is which is which is little bit risky i would say okay you need to be very careful it can turn any time quickly because it's 5 minutes time frame right for if it was only one way direction almost like this then i could have waited for my targets easily or if it was coming like this i could have shorted and waited but here it is going sideways so keep this in mind also if you look at the singapore nifty okay so this is nothing but a graph of singapore nifty sgx nifty i just opened on investing.com because in trading view they are not allowing me to open for 5 minutes chart they are asking me to upgrade so i upgraded my .com itself investing.com so now over here if you see um, from 28 that's today's um, morning i think today's 28th right yeah 28th 7 okay So from here, uh, Singapore Nifty opens in the morning itself around morning seven o'clock itself six thirty seven o'clock around. So from here, you see the market is going up and later turning a bit down. And I'm not saying we will have a direct impact, but we tend to follow the global market. So somewhere, lot of traders action based on S G X Nifty also. If S G X Nifty people are shorting here. there are few traders who take an opportunity to short over here okay i'm just giving an idea it's not always 100% right it's just one of the criteria of few other traders how they take advantage if overall this is positive then we tend to open positive so you see today it opened positive because sgx nifty also opened positive so same way now it is coming down they are booking their profits so or they are shorting sgx nifty so there will be an impact only it's not that our stocks are falling but we looking at that reaction there are traders who short so you can see something candles coming down now depending on our stocks okay on our top stocks so let's say in nse india i'm just looking 27 stocks are in advances so they are pushing the market to be in positive and 23 are pulling down 
now depending on the weightage of each stock this percentage will be created okay the average percentage anyways if you see hdfc bank is in the top list because i guess hdfc bank had a very good news so i just opened a random article on google by searching hdfc news so i just got an article by live mint i guess you can also go check by any article so it says here um the so latest news if you see morning 751 hdfc bank reported nearly 20% rise in standalone net profit at 6658 crores for june quarter so somewhere there is some good news on hdfc so maybe hdfc is doing good so let's just add hdfc in our list so it should be hdfc bank okay so there are two things hdfc and hdfc bank so hdfc bank is gone 3% above let's look at the graph okay same story with hdfc bank also it has open gap up if you see here and yes the morning range is this currently it has not yet broken any range so obviously i don't want to take any direction because until and unless nifty show me a proper direction nifty is volatile you see nifty has uh, gone up come down and uh, at this point is a range of morning 30 minutes now it is still not broken or trading below this level or it's not trading above this level so still it is going in sideways so still the market is sideways it is little bit difficult but currently if you see stochastic is giving a small entry position over here small rally till here so let's say hdfc bank also may have a small rally but it has not yet come above the 30 uh, level so let's say i will look at haikanashi chart over here also the trend has not yet changed okay and uh, i'll just add some bollinger for my support remember all your technicals are not 100% uh, right so they will just guide you where you stand it can go wrong also because not everybody will be following this indicator so if everybody are following then it is good but not everybody are following only you are following then it is like going against the crowd right also look what i found so i found a stock muttut finance okay it's part of financing only so this particular bank or this particular company is going up from lower level so yes you see the percentage is negative not many would capture these type of stocks but look at this particular stock from the time it opened it is just going up okay so from from the morning point it is just going up and up all right so now currently it is in a selling mode over here so obviously we it's not an opportunity for me and uh, an opportunity is getting created in hdfc bank if market supports then we can take some advantage over here whenever it goes up back a rally starts again but like you know the market is sideways so that is something which is not giving me the confidence that yes if it goes up also how much can it go what if it gets stuck in this range it is not even breaking this area so either i will either what now i will do according to my situation is current market situation what i feel what is coming in my thought is yes hdfc again it has to break its 30 minutes range right now because it is a gap up it can either go down it can go up until and unless it's going sideways it is it's a little bit riskier maybe what if i can't achieve my 0.3% within this range okay so let me draw a line now horizontal line again just to keep Uh, a note of this area because we tend to forget where, which was our entry so either i will take an entry later this one breaks out okay and my stochastic and all those has to give me a proper justification that where i stand i mean if you see um rsi is still in 53 on a 5 minute scale so even though i get a buy here it is 50% risk for me even though i get a buy here what if my rsi comes down to 30 or 20 right So there is 50% risk over here. Market is not supporting. Market is going sideways. Obviously, taking a trade during this time is a bit risky. Sideways. Let's say let the market take some direction. Maybe um, can't say today till 12 o'clock. You may get an opportunity, or maybe after 12 o'clock also you may get an opportunity. But it is a bit risky. But considering this is an observation and learning period for everybody, what I'm doing. So therefore, I will try to record a video after 12 o'clock because I don't have any class today. Only from Wednesday, my class will start for my pending students. Okay. Meanwhile, uh, until the market 
comes up to a proper direction. So you saw me drawing lines and I've kept HDFC and Muthut Finance in my bucket. I don't want to look into many other stocks. Uh, let me look into other things later. Let the market take some direction. So let's relax and watch the video because patience is the key. So I've got my uh, food ready. My mom has given me this um, green tea and uh, conflicts and same thing every day. So yes, I will have my breakfast and I will look into the market. Afterwards, I will show you my bike also because on YouTube, I just told I will get my bike. Yes, I got my bike before lockdown and it's lockdown in Bangalore. So uh, I cannot ride my bike till more some two days, I guess. Till then I have to wait. So definitely every day I go and switch on my vehicle and I just start my vehicle and I off it uh, just to keep the engine on or something. I'm just doing it. So anyways, I will show you guys my bike. Um, we will do on that. All right. Um, I think I missed to look at Bank Nifty. So Bank Nifty, um, 1.63 percentage. The graph of Bank Nifty also same like our Nifty. So, like you know, most of the Nifty is being supported by Bank Nifty, the finance sector. So maybe because of good news of HDFC and all those, it is going up or some momentum. Some news is there. I didn't check that exactly. We will see it to later. But yeah, so it is also going a bit sideways. So looking at what is the option? Any opportunity? So equity derivatives and uh, top 20 contracts, right? So which is this? I just want bank nifty. Mm. Okay, we have bank nifty 50, uh, 23,000. I also have, which is around um, the premium is so much. Anyways, uh, no matter. Um, 22,500 also is there, which is pretty closer. Uh, and uh, any of these two I can take apart from that. PE which I have 22,000 so PE is 22,000 and this is 22,500 or 23,000 so here this is 22,000 so I'll take 22,500 because which is more closer to my strike price so CE I will take 22,500 CE 23rd July um, right 23 everything is 23 July only because weekly expiry is more effective and uh, PE is 22,000. So 22,000 PE I will try to take in my list. So these are the two things which I can keep an eye on. Um, all right, so CE has already come down in this area, but see this, it has not given a proper buy signal here. I'll add a <clears throat> icon sheet for my safety, just to know the trend, because I have, if I want to, take it then I have to take somewhere in the dip only I don't want to take somewhere here or here so it has already come down somewhere coming down and going up is an advantage for me but it is not yet turning and the PE opportunity will be opposite right now see like I told it is already in the top so obviously it's a shorting so I will not short because to short you need more money I'm practicing buying right now later part whenever I learn shorting we will do because no need to money to learn right so uh, so my current opportunity is in buy in which this one because somewhere the market is buy somewhere my bank nifty is green somewhere the buy sites or the CE the stock going up chances are higher it's not that PE will not move you can see that in PE also we will experiment and see what's gonna happen uh, so currently we will see in CE in vlog one you saw CE later after 11 o'clock you got some signal and it went like crazy up so it depends on the market so let's see today also if it can come down to 30 line and create a shadow like this and create a buy and go up meanwhile Muthut also has come down see if you see here Muthut also has come down but not fully down you have to wait uh, get us lower levels like this yes the graph looks a little different for you weird for you but if I show you on candlestick it is a bit promising you see it is gone from the above levels and you see it is open is equal to um low okay so one one four zero one one four zero somewhere it is bullish in one criteria apart from that the time it opened it is just going up that is one more criteria and obviously along with our market is green and uh, nifty is green everything is green so if we get a positive direction again a secondary move like this well entry of 0.3 percent target is what we can look into this and this or else to be very safer and i will directly take uh, overall day breakout so overall day breakout is where for this uh, so I'll just draw a line so I don't forget later part where I took an entry for practice
okay so now i have just created this as my point so let me put some call out and make it look good like this by here okay so i just drawn that line i'm just saying by here let's say uh, what is the by 1 1 9 4.40 okay so i'm just considering this high because when i draw it may not come exact number so i'm just seeing what is this high i'm typing here so i'm buying it here so i mean is there some problem yesterday also it didn't come all right anyways let me try with text 1 1 9 4.40 let's see if this works yeah this one makes sense okay so let me try to drag so this is my buy point okay any time it come here on this line it is my buy point 1194.40 if it is breaking this area currently you see an opportunity is getting created in hdfc already an opportunity was created it has to cross above see now time for hdfc to create some entry either you need to add an entry and your exit should be within the upper range that is one thing and next is whenever it breaks out you have an again an opportunity to enter okay so in hdfc let's see what is the overall high so 1152.90 so i would say 1153 is my buy okay 1153 is my buy and or else if it crosses above here i will take a buy let's look at again my nifty is my nifty strong nifty is also going to turn it is not yet turned so whenever it turns yes there is an advantage for my top stocks so hdfc is my top stock and one more stock which is moving technically i mean this is not there in the list wherever you are finding muthoot finance but technically muthoot finance is actually going up so let's look at both these stocks how they react today all right guys an opportunity to buy so around 1135 just keep this number in mind so there was a sudden up spike over here at 1135 um in stfc bank so let's see if we can take an opportunity from this point within this or this point so what is this point so i think this point is 40 so so our target is how much uh, it's a 11 bis stock so 1.1 1.1 1.1 three rupees 30 paisa is my target so from 135 if i add three rupees 30 paisa my target is 1138 okay 0.30 okay 1138.30 is my target so i'll just set it up here my target um let me zoom in my 0.3% i have to wait for 1138 0.30 here so let me draw a horizontal uh, some other line is there now we have horizontal line itself Okay, I will try to draw that. One one. So idea is to see end of the day will this number achieve. Okay. So this is my current target for this particular entry. If uh, if in case we take an entry here, this is my exit of booking point three percent. And in case if the stock was breaking the overall thirty minutes range. then again i would take an entry over here okay but see our deadline is coming here okay after this this is a learning only obviously whenever i put money i don't put money here but yeah learning period nothing wrong in learning because even you should learn what happens here i should show you certain situations here it's not every day some day it happens and you don't have any answer to those so therefore uh, anyways i will try to show you within 12 o'clock but during mondays and tuesdays i will try to record after 12 considering wednesday thursday friday uh, my personal training classes will be there so if they book the slots morning slots i will not be able to record so meanwhile uh, till the stock moves it we need to give some time for the stock to move you cannot hurry hurry much so all you can do is set a target and keep so that's the advice i would give because Uh, you may become greedy or you may forget your trade so always set your target and keep any time your stock goes towards that direction it hits your targets and it done for the day okay anyways um, yeah so anyways i'll come i'll just show you my bike i hope one day somehow i always will meet again cuz
deserve Be wondering why We still play as we were friends I hope somehow I wish we'll meet again It's time to care We should just share Love one day That was the Ninja 650 bike, which I took, uh, which, which is a super beast machine for me because I'm not a rider. So once in a while, I just go for a ride. So yeah, I will try to handle it. It's a very nice bike. So because of lockdown, I couldn't go out any day. Only first day which I got, I just went out. So I'm just waiting, eagerly waiting. Once the lockdown is over, I'll just go out on it. And considering it's a new bike, I didn't go to rev it. I mean, uh, can do this. The sound comes out when the RPM is more. But I didn't do it because it's a new engine. So I've not used it much also. So maybe after the first service is what I can do all those sound and I can make my neighbors listen to the bike is on and all those. So look at uh, Muthud. Muthud has just uh, Muthud graph. So it has just touched the lower band, sorry, lower part. And it's just turning from stochastic. Okay. So I'll just close this. Um, so you see stochastic. So over here, not exactly a down and up, uh, but the problem is I'm not satisfied with the uh, upper band. You see, I know the target is 8.3 over here and you get 9.1 over here. It's a big movement itself, but I'm not somewhere happy. So what I would suggest is I would either wait for my overall range to break. That is this one, right? Overall morning range of this one. I will try to wait for this breakout. So like I told 1194 I will enter if nifty supports this has to break if this breaks then 0.3% from here is what I will observe. So meanwhile in options okay 22,500 22, CE if you see not exactly an entry over here but if you see 40 right 40 range over here this was morning it was already in the overbought zone so obviously i will not take a buy over here i had to wait for somewhere in the lower end with the risk of 50 percent over here right so maybe at this particular point is when i have to take a trade so it's a high kanashi itself but not a clear entry in this particular stock so yes i'm not gonna consider a trade over here not a strong buy from a lower level it is just turning away and even though it has not come to my lower band it has already gone halfway Yes, if the market continues to go up, break up, then this has a tendency to go up. But same way, if market falls, it can fall. So I cannot scalp easily here. So that you see, there is a pressure created already over here. Just like because it's not a clear confirmation for me, the pressure also has been created till now. So maybe I'm not confident to take a trade over here. And obviously, PE would have not yet reached. I feel down. So. So if you see PE, the put option is still coming down here. Okay, it has not reached the lower level. So 40, it has some time to reach. So anyways, we have to wait. And these stocks also we have to wait. Like our confirmation, our buy is around when? Uh, 1194. So it has not yet activated. The time is going to reach 12 o'clock. Let's see if it can break by then. Or let's see after 12 o'clock also if it can break if market supports whereas here the entry has been taken but the market is not supporting you look at this market I'll just show you um, here we have taken an entry it has gone maximum I think around 737 right somewhere closer to the target but target is not yet hit so we have to anyways in this case you have to wait till 330 and look whether it will achieve our target because market has to support that's the main condition here market is still it is in the lower range a buy confirmation is not created it is going a sideways still okay i don't want it to further go down for any reasons look at the um, sgx nifty sgx nifty has come down and recovering above so when will you recover nifty so this is how the candlestick looks anytime a spike over here to the upper band anytime during the day or within this range of 30 minutes it's going sideways like i told you so anywhere till this range our target will be done okay so if nifty spikes a little bit towards the upper range this target of hdfc will be done so you have to wait for that to happen also muthut will have an advantage if in case market bounces up Muthut finance is still it has to break 1194 good we didn't take it much entry here 
okay we didn't take an entry here you could have achieved your target it's not big deal here but in one candle you should have achieved in case you missed see that advantage is not there from the market so like i told in the morning i'm not much confident because the market is sideways when market is sideways these are the problems you will face so this is the reality what you are seeing even though you take whichever stock you take if market is not supporting much most of them having a pressure in both the direction market goes sideways your stock goes sideways if market gets a push later part of the day automatically you can see the stock spiking spiking up when the market goes down you can see the stocks also coming a little bit down okay so that is the effect of nifty 50 just because it is nifty 50 doesn't mean everything will be impacted nifty 50 is the most dominating because the top 50 stocks here so these are the most dominating so they are like a direction so if they are moving some direction traders tend to take that direction if they are going down traders tend to sell so that's the reason i look into nifty 50 not because my stocks are in nifty 50 no they are just as uh, just like a compass they are just showing me the direction which side to take or which side the trend is and also like i showed you initially in the home screen of nse we saw the advances and declines now currently 28 it was 27 i guess so 28 is advances and 22 is a decline still it is like 50 50 if i put 25 and 25 it is like exactly 50 50 right so hardly some three is got added here and three is got deducted here right so it is still in sideways it is not a strong bullish or strong bearish side and uh, nifty is in morning levels only so you have to give some more time for the day and take some risk and wait along but considering our ours is 0.3 during any spike it can give our profits we can close our trade but yes let's see overall how it performs so if you see on a nifty candle um, there is a strong green candle has been created here in a down rally so somewhere there is like a buyers are coming in okay some sign of buyers so in this meanwhile i want some advantage one spike my trade is done over here so that i don't have to break my head the time is heading towards 12 o'clock so a very strong resistance in this particular stock at this area you see the body is not even breaking this point okay so very strong resistance so nifty has to give a good push so that the buyers can get a confirmation that yes we can go towards buy direction and that is when a single spike can give a target i don't want to wait for whole day 3 30 i don't wait i don't want to hold my positions uh, i know the market is sideways but uh, yes all i need is a single spike that is what i am waiting for um, hopefully i just want the market to just go up so if you look at muthur finance finally muthur finance finally broke like i told you this stock is going from the down whereas HDFC was already in the top gainer and you saw how it reacts and you see this particular stock which is still negative 21 easily gave the target compared to our HDFC which is getting stuck in the middle okay so now you see our entry was 1194 over here and our target is 1197.70 that is 3 rupees 30 paisa target is what I have kept so yes it has broken in one candle itself and then later again it has gone above from that level so finally we have got an entry in Muthut finance so the concept of open is equal to low and open is equal to sorry open is equal to low is what we had got in this stock also the stock was on an uptrend so if i put this um candle itself so if you see overall graph of the stock you see from the time it opened i know it opened gap down so from there in intraday trading people have actually pushed the stock above so the stock is a bit bullish stock so currently it's trading around 1201 it made a high of 1203 so you see the difference so this was a top stock for the day because the nifty is going sideways and getting impacted you see this is getting a lot of pressure it is not able to spike maybe later during the day whenever nifty crosses above this stock has a tendency to go back to its levels but you look at the moment of this stock which actually opened gap up and it is going sideways right whereas the muthut finance opened gap down but the graph of it like i showed you in the morning itself it was going up so there is some advantage in this particular stock uh, muthut finance and finally we got an advantage in this particular entry and exit 
and SGFC let's wait and watch during the day when it can reach the levels uh, so whenever it reaches the level it will be done so it is around 38.30 right yeah so 1138.30 is where we have to wait it has come up to 1137.70 so 60 paisa gap was there but we have to wait it is going sideways it is understood our safety is around 1144 so stock has a tendency to break this 37 and go up to this 44 also later part so whenever the market recovers so till then we have to sit and wait looking at the nifty at the end nifty is just going sideways and going down it is not even crossing the middle band of bollinger so there is a pressure on nifty so whenever nifty gets a recovery to top side that's when you will be done with the top stocks okay guys finally if you see our hdfc bank i'm just putting a one minute candle if you see it has finally hit our target so i thought i'll just record it before it goes away so it hit our target of 1138.30 so it has gone above that 60 and it has gone up to 39 also so one minute and uh, the reason i'm showing in one minute is because obviously when you show in five minutes beginners will have a doubt that okay it went up and came down how can it hit a target no it is based on time frame so if you see in that one minute chart so in one minute chart if you see it has clearly gone up and it has hit and closed also next minute also it has gone up till here up to 139 it has gone stayed and then only it has come down so your target will be done over here only so don't need to wait here 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 all that two minutes time frame within that second only your target will be done if you have set your target if you don't set your target what will happen it will touch and come down okay but anyways uh, Muthut finance Muthut finance anyways the target is done but the stock is going like crazy so that was a good capture what we did the this particular stock so it has almost gone up to 12222 right so it is a great move on this particular stock so good catch in today's observations in the day traders blog so apart from that options no like you saw uh, we didn't get a proper entry in the morning so obviously i would have not taken a trade here okay so no trade after 12 o'clock i don't suggest myself to take a trade so uh, no trade in options in today's vlog and anyways today market is sideways like i told in the morning it is sideways and still it remains to be in the sideways so therefore no much advantage on the stocks but considering 0.3 as a beginner now why 0.3 a lot of beginners who don't even watch this channel uh, who are very new to this channel will ask why 0.3 so my question is if you can't even hit 0.3 on a consistent basis then what's the point of learning 5.5 1% 2% 5, of a stock so anyways after a few years you will realize all this but i'm just telling you in advance so first learn to hit 0.3% later whenever you are confident you can definitely go for higher profit but remember you are incurring more risk over there so anyways it's more of scalping only uh, yes we can do positional also i can hold my position tomorrow day after tomorrow and scalp out two percent five percent also but we are just learning a day traders log as of now so that was all about today's vlog so this is, was a second vlog so thank you so much for all your support and for all the ones who voted on my telegram so if you're not part of my telegram take the link from the video description join my public telegram group for voting and be in contact with me so thanks for voting yes that's the reason the video is big thanks for voting for my audience because i should know what my audience want and i'm sure there are a lot of new people who came from the previous video so always understand i'm not a pro i'm not a master i never tell i'm a master i'm a pro so I just share whatever I learn. I learn from the market, so I'm learning, I'm a learner. So whatever I learn, I share. So that is how this channel has grown. So people who are coming new to this channel don't think he's a master, he knows to trade or not, all those things. So uh, I just share whatever I see from the market. It is helping a lot of people. It has proved a lot of uh, people have learned from this channel. So that's the reason I continue to share this one. So if you want to be on a positive note, uh, you also can share this channel and be part of this channel by clicking the subscribe button and be part of this positive learning family. Okay, this is not a pro channel or this is not a masterpiece channel. I'm not a master here. I'm a person who share my knowledge, whatever I learn every day. So if you also want to learn on a positive note, definitely you can hit the subscribe button. So thank you so much and always put a positive comment and all the positive comments I will be approved by me and if possible I will try to like if I get some time. So thank you so much. See you soon in my next vlog. Till then take care. Bye bye.